J.D. Vance was elected to the Senate in 2022 and went from being a staunch critic of former President Trump to one of his strongest allies to now his vice presidential nominee. He has heavily championed his policies, particularly when it comes to trade, foreign policy, and immigration. And he has become a fixture on conservative media circuits. All right, Trump's VP pick, just one of the many political headlines we're following tonight. The RNC now getting underway in Milwaukee just hours after a federal judge dismissed Trump's classified documents case, plus new info coming in right now in the investigation into the assassination attempt over the weekend at Trump's rally in Pennsylvania. And we have a team of reporters covering it all for you tonight. Let's kick things off with Sharon Crowley with more on Trump's VP pick. Sharon? A lot of excitement um, at the Republican National Convention on the floor. We just saw Ohio Senator J.D. Vance out there as his colleagues announced him as the nominee. He's 39 years old, a Republican, and now in his first term in the Senate. Now he made a name for himself with his memoir, that bestseller, uh, Hillbilly Elegy. And in 2016, Vance described himself as a never-Trumper, but in 2020 run, he reversed his opinion, and now he is poised to become a part of history. We hereby nominate every single one of them for the greatest president that's ever lived, and that's Donald J. Trump, hereby declaring him the Republican nominee for president of the United States of America. Eric Trump announcing Florida's delegates will go to his father, reaching the number needed to give the former president the Republican nomination. The announcement coming moments after Mr. Trump announced his pick for vice president, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance. Trump making his big announcement on Truth Social, saying that Vance is best suited to assume the position of the vice president of the United States. Vance served in the Marines and graduated from Yale Law School. Vance also wrote the book Hillbilly Elegy. Ron Howard made it into a Netflix film with Glenn Close and Amy Adams. You got to think about these kids. What do you think I've been thinking about since I was 18 years old, huh? It's about his life growing up in Ohio and Kentucky and being raised by his grandmother because his mother struggled with opioid addiction. This announcement coming on the first day of the Republican National Convention and just two days after former President Trump survived an assassination attempt. He enrolled in the U.S., uh, enlisted in the U.S. Marines after 9-11, served in Iraq, built a business in, business, uh, in tech, and obviously, you know, has advanced pretty quickly in Republican uh, politics. And one more thing, despite the assassination attempt just two days ago, former President Donald Trump is now in Milwaukee at the convention. Trump will officially accept the nomination at the convention on Thursday night, and we'll have it here for you, Natasha. All right, Sharon, thank you so much.